They have burns to their feet. Um, some of them have burns to their nose. Um, quite a few of them are um, underweight because they haven't had access to good food in the last few days. Some of them are dehydrated, so we've had to give some fluids to them that um, some will recover, but not all of them will recover. But yeah, we're just trying to help with uh, the pain and help uh, start the healing process. We've got 10 orphaned koalas in the house, um, kangaroos, penguins, wombats, um, and then you know we've seen over 150 rescues come in. That number will double in the next couple of days. There you go, guys. You want to put the one down and give it some. Us being here could be the difference in losing every animal. Um, I would hate to one ember attack could have landed, started a fire, and burnt the whole park down, or, or we had a chance to fight it. But who knows what what could have happened, we we're, we're pretty lucky that uh, it did, did burn right around us. Emergency management? Veterinary management? Emergency management? You need to get it. If we get the rains and we get the regrowth, because the, the forest, the eucalypt forest, will bounce back very, very quickly. So the feed will be here for the koalas. We, there will be the grasses will grow again. So the, the wallabies and the other small uh, mammals they will they will benefit. And of course, uh, all the rest of the island, whether it's the Ligurian bees, which are peculiar to the island, uh, and also the the, the the livestock, they'll all they'll all come on. But it just takes takes water.